Let's now bring in Alan Fisher. He's joining us from Occupied East Jerusalem. Because, Alan, we've seen really shocking footage of Israeli forces stripping Palestinian men, detaining them. What more are you hearing from your end about this? Well, Hamas, just in the last hour, has condemned what has happened to the men, uh, calling on international human rights organizations to inquire and investigate and essentially to condemn what has happened. Of course, there are echoes from history where you see men that are being stripped and led off to locations unknown. The Israelis say that the men were apprehended in and around Bet Halea. Many of them gave themselves up. They are suspected of terrorism and they're being taken to a facility uh, in Israel to be interrogated. Also, at the same time, around 100 other men were detained and they have been taken to a special interrogation facility that has been set up in Gaza to find out what they know and to see if it can help uh, the Israeli war effort. Of course, uh, there is criticism of the Israelis for doing this because many people recognize very familiar faces in the group. Some saying that one was a student, one ran the local store, another one had no connection with uh, terrorism as he lived in a, an apartment block and a number of people identifying a local journalist among those who were arrested. Now, John Kirby, who is America's National Security Council spokesman, was asked about the arrest of a journalist and others during the briefing in the White House on Thursday. This is what he had to say. I'm not going to respond to every event on the ground and, and every occurrence. I haven't seen those images. Uh, it would be imprudent for me to comment on that. We don't, just as a, just as a general statement, uh, we don't support any targeting of journalists one way or another, anywhere in the world. They have a, a right and a responsibility to be there reporting on this. We believe that they should be allowed to do their jobs, and we certainly don't. Uh, would never condone any inhumane uh, or violation of law treatment uh, of any innocent civilian. But I can't speak to those specific reports. Of course, it would be a violation of international law for prisoners of war to be treated this way, for pictures to be taken of them and then published. Daniel Hagari, who is the Israeli military spokesman, was asked about the video but didn't address it directly. Another spokesman said that they had no idea where the video came from. But if you look at the video, it is filmed from on the ground and it is clear that it's someone who is within the area that the Israelis are operating. So it points to either someone from the Shin Bet, the Israeli intelligence service, or an Israeli soldier himself who has recorded it and released it. The big worry for many international aid organizations, for human rights organizations, is that it's entirely unclear where these men have been taken or what may actually happen to them. Okay, thank you. Alan Fisher reporting from Occupied East Jerusalem. Let's now speak to Shawan Jabarin, who's the director of the West Bank-based Palestinian human rights organiz organization, Al Haq. He's joining us from Morocco's capital, Rabat. Welcome to Al Jazeera. Thanks for your time. Can you first comment on these images that uh, I'm sure you've seen of about 100 Palestinian men who have been stripped, made to kneel on the street in northern Gaza? When I saw this first time, you know, I was uh, shocked. But in the same time, uh, I uh, said this, you know, this practice with the one who killed the uh, children and killed civilians uh, uh, with the thousands uh, can make something like that. But the first thing jumped in my mind when I saw the pictures, the Second World War, to be honest with you, how they treated, you know, uh, uh, detainees and those they were arrested or prisoners of war. Uh, that's the case. Right, I think the uh, this inhuman, uh, this is a torture, it amounts to torture. And uh, more than that, uh, it's a war crime and the crimes against the humanity. Right, and there are a lot of questions now about because... where these men will be taken to what will happen to them. And Israel, being an occupying power, has certain obligations. What are these obligations that would prevent Israel from treating these Palestinians in this way? Uh, look, Israel is an occupying power first. Uh, uh, Gaza is still occupied. Uh, uh, the Israel, they have no right to uh, do this, even if they are occupation or occupied, occupying power or not. Uh, this is something, it's the minimum, minimum level of humanity to treat uh, people, you know, uh, in a human way. 
that's uh, the case. Even if they are uh, occupation, if they are not, that's this is not the problem. But the main thing is what they are ta where they taking them. This is also another question. The other question jumped to our mind is how they treated those they were captured or they were uh, arrested uh, in uh, October 7th and October 8th. How the Israeli treated them? How many of them they are still alive? Right. Uh, when they captured them, for instance, did they kill them? This is an issue. Where they are now? Uh, who who who's still alive? There are many many questions. So how still, is your you know, organization? Uh, how is your organization Al Haq, which defends human rights? How is it scaling up its response to these violations in Gaza as well as violations we see in the occupied West Bank? Practically, what can you do? Look, what we do, you know, we try to document these things and also uh, to uh, write and to call uh, for uh, legal uh, actions against the uh, Israelis. And we are asking also the uh, International Criminal Court to uh, act. This is not the first time. And even, uh, to be honest with you, we are... Uh, uh, concern about all the Israeli prisoners and detainees, and you yourself, uh, you documented some of the cases from the people they were uh, released from prisons lately. Uh, in the exchange, uh, they are treated them badly. They tortured them. Uh, they took their belongings. Uh, they leave them with nothing. Uh, they reduce even the uh, the food, the quantity, quality, and everything, water uh, for showers or bathroom or all of these things. This is how they are treating. This is part of the revenge against also the Palestinian prisoners. We are concerned about the lives of the uh, Palestinian prisoners. Six of them, they were uh, died uh, in detention. Some of them, they were arrested just two days before they uh, passed away. Uh, here, there is a big question about uh, how they treated them. Right. Uh, this is part of the torture. This is the thing. We are concerned. Uh, and I think Israel, they have no right to move them to uh, Israel. Uh, we don't know where they took them uh, now okay. in, uh, from Gaza. All right. We'll leave it there. Shawan Javari, and thank you for speaking to us from Rabat. Thank you.